Inside every artist beats the heart of a child. A childhood filled with memories of exploring nature, when time seemed to maybe go a little slower and life was simpler. Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid and my new painting, The Old Fishing Hole, celebrates childhood memories. You know, I think all of us, no matter what our childhood was like, probably share a lot of the same daydreams. For me as a kid, I thought life was just an endless parade of exploration, things to explore, places to find, forts to build, trees to climb, and old fishing holes to go and try my luck at. In my painting, I created a very tranquil setting with a stream murmuring in the background and deep pools underneath the bridge. I love the idea of the coolness beneath the bridge. Many of the bridges in my hometown of Placerville, California were places where we would often sit in the shade and watch the fish dart around. It was also a good place to catch frogs or to just throw a stick with your dog. Since I have four daughters, I had the fun of dressing up one of my girls as the model for the little boy in this painting. In fact, my daughter Merritt agreed to pose and she put on her overalls, rolled up the cuffs, and donned a fishing pole just for the part. A neighbor's dog gave me inspiration for the companion to our little fisherman, and I enjoyed painting the detail of the fur and the dog's face as he waits in anticipation for that first strike. I enjoy little touches like the ducks that swim along the water. They provide a sense of movement to the tranquility you see in the setting itself. And in my imagination, I envisioned flowers, wildflowers, growing abundantly along the water's edge. And you can see all that color here in the foreground of my painting. Everyone loves the effects of dappled sunlight, and I enjoyed putting the little golden droplets of sun that seemed to splash along the hillside and onto the bridge itself. And this painting, as the light begins to dim on the subject, seems to have a special radiance. That's due to the glazing techniques that I use. And we try to capture that in the print so that the light effects really glow under dim light. I planned the painting so your eye would be carried upstream and into the distance. You can imagine what it would be like to carry your fishing pole and walk along that stream looking for a new pool to drop your line into. I really enjoyed recreating the old covered bridge. There were some covered bridges in the foothills of Northern California where I grew up. I could imagine what it would be like to walk up and walk through that bridge, the hollow echo of your footsteps as you cross along the planks. and then the sense of a road meandering off into the distance with the old split rail fence going alongside it. Of course, the plum tree growing along the water's edge gives radiant color to the green lushness of the foliage. And the weeping willow made a wonderful accent, gave me some long draping forms. Can't you just hear the quiet murmuring of that stream in the background as you stand there in a setting so tranquil and peaceful? Now this painting, The Old Fishing Hole, is the first in a series which is entitled Childhood Memories. So as the first in a series, that makes it a truly historic event for Kincaid collectors. I encourage you to watch for upcoming releases in this series that will feature the simple joys of childhood. Every work I create is an attempt to share a little hope, a little joy, a little inspiration with collectors everywhere. God bless you as you share the light.